Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new here, I'm so, so glad you found my channel. Today we have a July favorites. You guys know I keep up with my beauty favorites every single month and this month is no exception. So I actually have a lot of favorites, but they're newer favorites this month because I have bought a lot of things. I believe that my haul will be up before this. So some of this stuff will be featured in that haul, the Ulta and Sephora haul. So go check that out as well. But anyways, today let's talk about our makeup, beauty, lifestyle, clothing favorites and just go ahead and get into some of the best stuff that I have found this month. Make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure that you ring the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. I upload new makeup, beauty, and fashion content every single week and I would love to have you here and let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing, let's start with beauty. We love makeup first. The first thing that we have to talk about is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. You guys know I love the airbrush face powder and I absolutely love the new bronzer formula as well. I did get this in the shade three, which is the tan shade. Um, it comes in four shades and I was like going back and forth between medium and tan. I did pick up tan. I'm glad I did because you can really build it up or sheer it out. So you don't have to worry about that this is gonna just be this pigmented as soon as you tap your brush into it. So I just like to take like a duo fiber brush in here, tap it off and just start building the color up and deepening it. But I love this, it's a huge pan. It really is airbrushed on your skin. It makes you look flawless. It's just a gorgeous natural looking tan and I can't say enough good things about it. I know it's really pricey, but I love Charlotte products. I highly recommend them and I think you guys would love this bronzer. The next thing that I have to talk about is what is on my lips. You guys know I love to include a lip favorite every single month and this month I just discovered these but I cannot not put it in here. What are they even called? These are the Buxom Plumping Lip Cream and it is like a gloss and a lipstick in one. This is what I have on today. These are the fall collection, so they smell like fall scents, which makes it even better. But even if they didn't, I just absolutely love the formula. I love the way it looks on your lips. Um, I have pumpkin spice latte, which is a little bit more brown toned and still nude though, of course. And it's very pigmented and glossy and gorgeous. Just absolutely love it and then the one i have on right now is the spiked apple cider color it's a little bit more pink uh just as gorgeous they're very close in tone but obviously if you love nudes you know that they're different so this one's a little more brown brownish orange i would say this one's a little bit more pinky nude and these are gorgeous look how glossy they are like they are the glossiest but most full coverage I just I can't I can't I can't say enough about these I got mine on Ulta and I love them so the next thing that I have is a highlight this is actually an oldie but a goodie this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek it's the Flexitarian highlight so I know you guys have heard of this before this is just a creamy really just like a base to your highlight but it's you can wear this on its own because let me tell you it is super super pigmented and opaque so that is how shiny it is you don't need much i like to take a little brush and just dab it on and then kind of blend it with my fingers this is the highlight that i have on today with something layered over top of it i usually like to set this down with a powder product but you don't have to because this is just so so high shine on its own but i like to just so i can set it and it's a gorgeous gorgeous color and it's so so blinding and so metallic so if you really like that really just gorgeous beaming highlight then this one is for you and i'm sure you all have heard of it but i've been loving it once again the next favorite is, I did a video on this, so this should be no surprise to anyone, but this is the Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. I have been digging into this guy so much. You guys know that these are my colors. I love warm tone browns, bronzes, golds. This is gorgeous. I actually do not have it on today, but I have been wearing it almost every day. 
There's some amazing matte shades you can just wear for every day, like in the crease. And these metallics just, they remind me of fall, but they also are like a bronzy like summer goddess look too. I highly recommend this if you guys love neutrals. It doesn't matter if you have these in your collection already, if you have these colors, you will love this palette because I have all these colors in my collection already as well, but just having it all together is just so nice and I just can't stop playing with this palette. It's expensive, but so worth it in my opinion. So the last product I have in the beauty category is this hair product. This is the Briogeo Mask. This is the new one called Be Gentle, Be Kind. It's Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. So I I really love Briogeo's masks already. I love the um, Don't Despair Repair Mask. This one is also amazing. It just smells like healthy and yummy and just fresh. It's so good for your hair. It just really gives your hair a drink of moisture. If you have dry hair or if you have bleached hair like I do, um, just put this on for like 10 or 15 minutes in the shower after you shampoo and you will see a noticeable difference. These Riogeo products have done wonders for my hair. I absolutely love them and I recommend this new mask so much. And that's it for the beauty like makeup stuff. So let's go on to some clothing favorites. The first thing is kind of like a new brand that I've discovered and it is White Fox Boutique. I've seen this for years but I haven't ordered off of it and I finally took the plunge and ordered a few things off of there just to see how the quality was to see how I would like it. And guys, this will definitely be a clothing store I will order from again. I ordered loungewear stuff because I thought their loungewear was just absolutely adorable, but they have really, really cute going out and more like fancy and like dressy things as well that I definitely will try in the future too. So this sweatshirt, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's like a light beige tan color. It's so soft. The material is thick. It's lined in fleece so it'll be great for the fall and the winter time and it just has their little logo right here i think it is so cute um i really am into that casual but so cute and so put together look so like add some cute jewelry put on a full face of makeup be glam and then just wear a cute little sweatshirt and some like joggers or some biker shorts and that is the cutest outfit in the world to me so i love this sweatshirt and then i have a few more things that i'll show to you this is kind of like a mini haul i guess because this is the stuff i got so i got these joggers from there and these are tie-dye blue and purple and white and kind of like a greenish color as well these are high-waisted joggers they have the white fox label here and then they just go down and they are, um, you know, what do you call that? Like fitted around your ankle. So these are so cute. This is my favorite style of sweatpants to wear because I think it makes me look really good and it flatters my body type. You can tell the fabric on here is just super, super well made and super really good quality and will hold up and will be really good for years to come. So I really like that. And then the other two things I got, let me get down here and get them our t-shirt. I am now into the trend of like wearing a oversized t-shirt and the biker shorts with like really cute tennis shoes. I think that is such a cute look and these t-shirts are so cute. I wore this in my last video so you probably saw it but this is like a peachy pink um, tie-dye. It has a little teal butterfly with the white fox label on the front and then the back has a huge butterfly and it says lost in the world and it just says white fox down here so so cute it's just trendy girly and put together but still so comfy i have been loving that look and then the other t-shirt i got i have a little stain on because i did wear it and um you know i always spill on my clothes just eating so just don't judge me but this is a sage green color and it has the white fox logo it's so soft the material is such a nice thick you just can tell it's well made so i really like this brand and i highly recommend if you've never shopped there that you look on the site see what they have and i think you guys would really really like it especially for loungewear i can vouch for that they have some really great stuff and then two other things this one is a weird one but i just have to say it so I really like Gatorade. This is like the only drink I like besides for Coke, apple juice, orange juice, and that's about it. So this is the only drink that I drink besides for that. Gatorade is really good. I like the red Gatorade and I like the blue Gatorades. 
but this I didn't even know existed until about two weeks ago. This is the green apple Gatorade and I have been I have been killing these guys. These are so good. I love green apple and this just tastes like almost like a like a green apple slushy. It, it has such a strong flavor which sometimes I feel Gatorade is a little bit like dull. Some flavors are but this flavor is so good and I highly recommend if you've never tried the green apple one to go out and try it because now this is my new favorite flavor of Gatorade. And then the very last favorite is well it's a lot of things. So layering necklaces is like my favorite trend right now and as you can see this one is actually just one necklace but it has a bunch of strands and i love the way that that looks and i have a, like a few necklace favorites i can show you that i like to layer so the first one this is a charm from miranda fry this is a silver necklace with my initial on it can you guys see it so this is a necklace with my initial on it from miranda fry I actually put it on my own chain but they have really pretty charms and so i will wear this and then layer some more like silver necklaces with it i really like miranda fry's necklaces on her site and then let's see some other ones i really like i like kendra scott a lot so they have this still on their site right now this is the little heart i've shown this before but i still have been liking to layer that even mix in pieces like this little chain detailed necklace. I'll mix that in with some more expensive high-end stuff. So this is actually just from Forever 21, but I like jewelry from like Forever 21, Versona, Express. I like to mix that in with like Kendra Scott, Miranda Fry, Michael Kors, oh, Pandora. I like to mix that kind of stuff in because you can still wear costume jewelry and make it look really, really elegant and nice and good quality. And then this necklace as well I got from Express. This is a, what is this called? Herringbone and a little rope chain. And I love that, that it comes together like that. And you could layer that with like a little initial necklace or whatever you want but I love layering necklaces I think that's so fun so I think that is all for my favorites this month I hope you guys had a great July I felt like July just flew by and I will see you guys in my next video stay safe and I love you